Good afternoon and welcome back to Book Talk from the Pflugerville Public Library. This week we'll be starting with some books for our youngest readers. We have a picture book, Bedtime for Sweet Creatures, by Nikki Grimes and illustrated by Elizabeth Zunon. This book is all about the child that does not want to go to bed, something all parents are pretty familiar with. The illustrations in this book are so beautiful. As the loving parents try to put their reluctant toddler to bed, they've got analogies to all different types of wild, sweet creatures. Look at this picture. It's just wonderful. There's something new to notice every time you read this book. It's a perfect bedtime book to share. Our next book is Let's Play Krabby by Jonathan Fenske. Krabby just wants to be left alone. However, Plankton is determined to get him to join in the fun. Let's Play Krabby is in a graphic novel style format that really supports newly independent readers. Kids will just love the expressions on the characters' faces. Will Krabby ever play a game? Will Plankton ever have fun with Krabby? You're going to have to read the book to find out. Readers that enjoy Let's Play Krabby will be delighted to know there are two more books in the series. Our next book is another book by author Nikki Grimes, who's just so wonderful. And it's illustrated by R. Gregory Christie. Make Way for Diamond Daniel is about a super smart third grader named Diamond who's just moved and is starting a new school. What I love about this book is that Diamond is full of confidence and strength. Although she misses her best friend from her old school and her old neighborhood, Diamond charges ahead to find a new friend. So, for kids looking for a realistic celebration of friendship, check out Diamond Daniel. And also, check out the other books in this series. For kids looking for a longer chapter book to read, check out Sal and Gabby Break the Universe by Carlos Hernandez. Sal and Gabby are opposites. He's always in trouble and she's the head of student council and a real rule follower. When Gabby discovers Sal's hidden talent for magic, they just might break the universe as we know it. This book is so much fun, full of sci-fi, adventure, and humor. The characters are so well written, they really come alive and act like 13-year-olds are supposed to act. There's also a real celebration of Cuban-American culture in this book. Just about every reader will find something to love in this book. And best of all, the sequel, Sal and Gabby Fix the Universe, just came out in May, so... No worries, if you enjoy it, you can dive straight into the next one. Our next book is another recent favorite of mine. Click by Kayla Miller is a realistic fiction book in juvenile graphic novel format. Olive is friends with just about everyone in her grade level. So how come none of them invited her to join in their act for the talent show? Olive gets lots of support in this book from her mom and her aunt as she tries to navigate things when everyone has a role to play but her. The characters here are really well written and drawn, and it's a perfect depiction of fifth grade in all its drama and angst and humor. Give this book to fans of Raina Telgemeier and other realistic fiction titles. For our YA readers this week, we have Heretics Anonymous by Katie Henry. What happens when Michael, a new student and an avowed atheist, gets enrolled in a Catholic high school? Well, he becomes best friends with a girl who wants to become a priest, of course. St. Clair's school has a secret club called Heretics Anonymous, where all the misfits join together. Can Michael convince them to come out in the open and fight for what they believe in? This book is a great blend of humor and angst and is a story that examines the importance of faith of all kinds. And I just love the toast on the cover.
Finally today we have a graphic novel, Stargazing by Jen Wang. Although Christine and Moon are both Chinese American, they couldn't be more different. Christine is quiet and comes from a strict family, while Moon is exuberant, funny, and has visions. Yet, despite these differences, they become good friends. When Moon's visions become disturbing, will Christine still be able to be the friend Moon needs? This book is heartbreaking and funny at the same time, and it's a great read for all ages. It's got terrific artwork, too. It was a starred title on the Texas Library Association's Maverick Graphic Novel Reading List this past year. That's all for us this time. I hope you enjoyed our selection of books, and be sure to check back soon next week. Miss Amanda will have a list of recommended books to read. Bye now!